I was literally at the peak of like getting a bigger promotion or getting a bigger salary. I had a managerial position at that time, and I gave it all up. I just want to hug that that version of myself, you know, who to let her know that it's gonna be okay. You are going to figure it out. You are going to help people. You are going to make a difference. <laughs> Hello, we're doing this video a little bit different than normal. I wanted to just have a chit chat while I get ready, while I put my makeup on in my most natural candid state ever as I talk about my realizations two years later after I quit my corporate job and where I am now, what I learned. I was like, you know what, two of the most requested things I get asked about is how I put on my makeup, how I do my makeup, and how I manage my money, and how it got me to where I am today. So I'm going to do both in this video, and maybe this could be a series. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this, and let's get into it. Starting off with a primer. So I am like normal to oily na, and I usually just like to put a mattifying primer in the areas where I get usually oily and so let's talk about today like just looking back what I did was I actually compiled some of my journal entries from 2021 when I quit my job and we're going to I'm going to expose myself I'm going to share all those raw journal entries that I didn't think I would share to the public one day but I figured like maybe there are people who are in the same place who feel the certain type of way and i wanted to share that maybe for you to feel like it's normal to have these kinds of feelings and that you can get to the other side just like where i am today so yeah starting off with this foundation i wanted to look back on nick who quit her job two years ago because I always talk about it in this channel, but I don't really go deep into like what I actually felt at that time. And a hundred percent, I would do it all over again. A hundred percent, even though that was the point in my life that I was like crying so much. <laughs> um, I remember like, because for, for so many years and, you know, being in corporate, I kind of... Um, put this really strong image about myself. I was so goal-oriented, I was so driven that I would really make it, make a career in the corporate industry that I was in. You know what, you could actually go to my LinkedIn and find out what my jobs were before. Like it's there for public, for public consumption if you want to know what my jobs were before. But it was in digital marketing, it was in advertising. I actually graduated in Bachelor of Communication major in advertising. And so I was so determined that I would really thrive in corporate based on that course that I graduated in. And I was like such an overachiever in college. And so I joined a lot of marketing competitions. I, I was top two of my whole batch that kind of became my image that I put upon myself that I had to achieve everything I set my mind to and that really served me well because actually in high school pasang awa ko palagi in high school like I would get like line of 75 um, in my report card and I knew that when I went to college I was like this is gonna be different I'm going to be different I'm going to excel this time I'm going to stand out because I actually did not pass the entrance exam of the college that I wanted to get into <laughs> and that was one of like the lowest points I had in my teenage years I felt like a failure felt like parang bobo ko naman di ako sa entrance exam and that's when I knew like I'm just not really good at exams <laughs> like so I ended up in the college that my parents wanted me to go to even though it wasn't a hundred percent it wasn't really a hundred percent where I want to go but I was like you know what I'm just going to maximize the situation I'm going to make the most out of it and be different this time i'm going to excel i i i joined student council um i actually have subscribers who know me from my school my schoolmates and they know me that i am that kind of person 
I was so determined to get a job right away, to earn money, to to prove to myself that all of this hard work that I did in college, all of the extracurriculars, all of the sleepless nights would land me the job of my dreams. Spoiler, I didn't. So I actually wanted to be employed in this really big makeup multinational company because I was, again, I really loved makeup. I really enjoyed putting on makeup. By the way, I am this one. It's like, I'm putting on a corrector if you have dark circles like me. Like, I've recently been trying this peach corrector under Muna. Like, I let it sink and then I'm gonna put on concealer on top of that. So yeah, while that is happening, I'm going to put eyebrow gel so that we can flick these brows. So yeah, I really love makeup and I wanted to be to be part of this really yung talagang kilala na makeup company but I didn't get in again so parang ako a part of me was like ano ba ito na naman failure ka na naman ganyan ganyan <laughs> but anyway um, I ended up in another multinational company in which is a agency which is really really aligned to my course and I got hired like one week after graduating from college and for me like that was really fulfilling because yung feeling na ah like I really I really beefed up my resume to the point that I had a really competitive salary starting salary I was in demand to get hired right away and so I ended up being in that company so grateful for all the opportunities there because that's where I really honed a lot of my skills and learned a lot in terms of marketing advertising and all of that that's really where i got promoted got bonuses i i really i really believe that they saw the potential i had then because i was so gung-ho about excelling nga. so i would be okay with sleepless nights working on weekends you know staying up until 1 a.m to finish like a deck for a client, galon. But then after like four and a half years, okay, four and a half years in the advertising industry, being in the agency, I was like, I want to explore going back to my dream of working for a makeup company because that has been my dream. Like as I've shared, like when I graduated college, I really wanted to be in the makeup retail industry. And so, I got the opportunity to do just that and I was so like oh my gosh this is my dream job finally I really felt like I have made it like honestly na parang, this is what I worked so hard for and so now you might be wondering what happened all right what made me quit that job so almost two years later from that job I think one and a half years I quit and that's what really made me realize that I have built this dream job to be what I wanted it to be since I was in college that it's okay it's okay that I changed my mind about it because it's great that I've experienced it because I'll always wonder what if and I'm so grateful for the experiences and opportunities that I had then because it made me realize where I really want to be the path the career that I really wanted to be in and so like that's what i always talk about is like sometimes we put so much shame on ourselves about when we change our minds about something that we wanted turns out it's not really w how we thought it would be and i had built that that kind of life in my mind that having that job because i was so career oriented that i honestly felt so ungrateful that i had these thoughts of like i would give it up I would give it all up, everything that I worked so hard for, that I would start from scratch again. Because when I told people na parang, this is really just not the career path that I want anymore, this is not what I envision my life to be two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, so why would I waste my time? And why would I waste people's time around me thinking that I would be the next person who would get promoted, who would be the next whatever, right? because that was the path and I didn't see myself in that anymore it really paves the way for us to like not settle just because of others expectations of us because guess what like five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now are you gonna look back and think that I've honored myself or did I honor everyone else's expectations around me because ultimately it's your life and you can't blame these people who decided for you you get to decide right Whew. let me give you a snippet of what i said in my journal entry all about that and honestly it makes me so emotional so 
I'm gonna control myself. Okay? How about I do that while I put on my eyeshadow primer? Para hindi mag, ano, hindi pag smudge yung eyeshadow ko mamaya. If ever I do get emotional. But, here's what I shared in 2021. I choose to live life on my terms. It has been two days. So this is like my raw journal entry, okay? <laughs> so I'm reading from that when you see me looking here. It has been two days since I quit my corporate job. It was my dream job. Well, at least I thought it was. Then I realized I have been operating on autopilot for six years. Para saan ba tong concealer na to kung iyakan lang natin? Ano ba yan? <laughs> Tara nga ba sinasabi ko eh? Almas, let me just do this na. <laughs> Gawin ko muna to. Tong eyeshadow primer na to. Then I realized I had been operating on autopilot for six years. Working in the corporate world, chasing success, chasing recognition, chasing the next salary increase. I feel like I was literally just dead inside. I had no emotions left in my eyes. Even the people around me had noticed. I had become a well-oiled machine expected to go beyond the extra mile and expected to meet everyone's needs except my own. I feel as though I have lost track of myself about what really makes me feel alive and simply happy. But just like any machine, it eventually gets worn out. Even when year after year, you expect it to work the same way until it doesn't. This time, this time around, I choose me. Not the expectations from society on what success looks like. Not the picture-perfect lifestyle that looks good on social media. Not the mode I was meant to fit in based on my LinkedIn profile. That's so funny. <laughs> because that's how I built it up in my mind, you know, since being in college, beefing up my resume, beefing up my LinkedIn profile, my portfolio, only to realize like, that's not who I really want to be. So this next part, this time around, I decide what success looks like based on what is authentic to me, what lights me up, and what truly makes a difference to other people's lives. Eee! Mga kainis, pinapaya ko nito ng old version ko eh. <laughs> There's no turning back because I have already been turning my back on myself for years. I owe it to my 13-year-old self who said I can achieve anything I put my mind to. This time around, I choose to live life on my terms. The thing is, like, that's not the first time I read it. Because I always look back at the journal entry I had to remind myself of, like, every single time I hit a struggle on why I quit, on why I decided to start this business. I always look back at that entry, reminding myself that this is me living life on my terms. If I fail, if I do something wrong, I take it all. I take accountability for it. Because I know that whatever happens, I'm doing it for me and I will never have regrets of like deciding to let go of what no longer is aligned to who I am and who I want to be. I just want to hug that, that version of myself, you know, who to let her know that it's gonna be okay. You are going to figure it out. You are going to help people. You are going to make a difference. Like that's why for me, every comment I get, whether it's from a subscriber, you comment on my videos here on YouTube or TikTok, or most especially from my clients who said that, like, I'm so grateful that you quit your job for this. You know what? I actually have this, I have this post, like, I have this letter from a client that is literally posted, like, here in my work area that I love looking back on. Like, she sent me a really, really sweet, like, package after our coaching sessions. And she wrote this letter that I love seeing every day. She said, Hi, Coach Nick. Thank you very much for generously imparting your knowledge to young professionals. The Lord has planted a very important mission in you. Continue bringing light to the money journey of Filipino youth. This is from my client, Grace. I know Grace watches my videos. So here's a shout out for her. And who would have thought I would be crying while putting my makeup on? <laughs> but yeah, two years later, I'm proud of that 
version of myself who honored herself because even though there were so many uncertainties doubts judgments she decided to choose herself i had no idea then that i would be where i am today i just knew like i just wanted to help one person at a time i just wanted to post on my youtube channel like seriously at that point in time because that's where i really found fulfillment and that's where i really felt like where my purpose was i didn't know i was gonna end up doing like coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching full-time honestly i just landed here because as i've shared in my previous videos like my first business idea flopped like it didn't go as i planned it and i'm so glad that i didn't give up that i kept pushing on because what was important for me was that i was just exploring what success looked like for me and for me at that time it was just like how can i show up for people who would resonate with my story how can i help people based on what i've already overcome like the first few steps that i had overcome then which was ultimately like having the courage and um financial preparation to resign from my job like that's why i'm so passionate about talking about this that whatever you may be at whether it's a career that you're stuck in or that you were expected to have or maybe it's a business that you didn't expect or maybe a business that you thought would you do for so many years but turns out it's not anymore it's not aligned with you anymore like i just want you to know that at the end of the day how are you how can you decide based on what you truly want based on what honors your values based on what's truly aligned with your purpose because that's what got me here today i wouldn't have expected that i would end up having a seven figure online business i would have never suspected that i would be constantly fully booked in my business i was just focused on helping one client at the time and you know i look back and be like i'm so proud of myself for deciding that for remembering that i can achieve anything i set my mind to as long as it comes from a place of purpose and meaning and genuine intentions and authenticity you know that's why when i say that at that time i was so clouded with so much uncertainties about like is this really the right thing um because i literally go i re literally went against the grain like i was literally at the peak of like getting a bigger promotion or getting a bigger salary i had a managerial position at that time and i gave it all up and you know at the start of my business when things were slowly like making sense to me that i wanted to really pursue and go all in with one-on-one -on -one coaching based on working on the mindset around money creating a more healthy relationship around money when i had been working and signing a few clients already i remember i actually caught up with some of my friends back in my first corporate job and a really good friend of mine and usually like we start of conversations like oh kamusta how are you doing and oftentimes i remember i would just reply be like okay lang ganon like back in my corporate job but then when i was asked this time i had a completely different answer and i journaled about it so here's the raw entry from that that i'm gonna share back in 2021 so my friend asked how i was doing for the first time in six years i can say that i'm doing really well and I do mean it from the very depths of my soul. What's interesting about this was like, I was just starting with my coaching business then, but I just knew that I was doing right by myself. That despite like things that weren't completely in stone, I was just really led by the purpose of what I was doing. And I knew that as long as I kept following that, following that, that I would be led to the right place and I was just so it just felt so good to finally be honest about myself that this is really what I want to do so I said in my entry in my past corporate jobs I would struggle answering that question because I thought how do I answer that it was difficult because every day was a constant push to do something I should do or expected to do but what did I really want to do that was an even harder question because I would just often say I wouldn't say I'm jumping up and down with happiness. I'm okay. 
And is that really how I want to freaking live my life? And I want to share that because sometimes, as I've shared before, it's like there's really this thin line of like contentment and settling. Because that's what I was doing. I was just settling because you know expectation, you know yung past na I was I ended up in. So might as well keep going and you know follow through. I was settling. I wasn't really contented. Like okay, like in my head I thought I was like I'm contented. I'm grateful. Why would I not be grateful? Like this is a great opportunity and all of that. That's why I really want to break, like how past generations taught us na okay na pasta may trabaho ka and you know you're paying the bills and you're covering your needs. Like no. No, like we deserve more than just paying our bills and shopping from time to time. We deserve to have fulfillment, purpose, excitement, happiness in what we do. Because if we don't, is that really a life that we want? As I continued in this journal entry, I said, that's why I felt a sense of relief knowing that I shared my truth, that I'm really doing well. I finally had the courage to go after what I really want out of life. I'm no longer taking the back seat and watch life pass me by. I remember I would often tell myself, even during those long hours of studying for exams, I want to give it my all because I don't want to live in regret knowing that I could have done more. That mentality went on up to this day, so I'm giving myself the same advice. Looking back, I have really achieved every single goal I've set out for myself because I was driven, focused, and became resourceful to make it happen. I can achieve anything I set my mind to. I did it before, and I can do it again and again. That's really like the belief that I still hold on to this day because that's what got me going at the start of my journey. Like, believing that if I excelled at what people expected me to do, what more if I got to do it from a place of what I really want to do from a place of it's really what I love to do I knew I could do more I knew I would excel even more ultimately like that's really what gave me the push to really like stop hoarding savings and like just seeing it like in my bank account grow and grow pero hindi naman ako masaya hindi ko naman nafe-feel na may naipundar ako or may napuntahan yung savings ko because I was constantly scared of using it to invest in my personal growth, to invest in finally, you know, actualizing the dreams I always wanted. Because I was constantly scared and like, oh, what if it doesn't work out? I invest in this program for my coaching business. But then, it doesn't work. And so I constantly went back to that belief to myself that, I can achieve anything I set my mind to. I have done it before, I can do it again, and I don't want to live in regret thinking that I could have done more. So that's what I really did. You know, what really helped me in stabilizing and sustaining my business was investing in mentorship, investing in support. That's why I can shut up about that because that's really what changed things for me. It's like being surrounded by the people, by mentors, who have already been successful at what I want to be successful at and it really normalized in my mind that I can do it as well. That's really why like in my coaching programs I never talk about something that I haven't experienced myself. Like I always see my former self in my clients. That's why I get to be so passionate about challenging the beliefs that have been stopping them. You know because I've been there when I thought that there was, I hit the brick wall, when in reality, I could break down that wall and create new paths for myself. And that's what I love doing with my clients. It's like, it's like giving my former self a hug that I've been through what I went through so that I could help more people who have been in the same place, who have been in the same rock bottom, who thought that they just constantly had to fulfill expectations of people around them that they constantly just had to be responsible and practical and pay bills you know that pursuing their dreams was just a was just too idealistic and it's not practical because i've literally been there by the way if you're wondering what is this behind my back <laughs> that's my avocado stuffed toy that my husband gave me because he knows i love avocado shakes avocado ice cream what really pushed me and kept me going despite all the uncertainties was constantly asking myself that nick how can you think yourself one year from now 
when you do this? Like, I was constantly doing that na, how can I make sure that one year from now, there's a big difference because of this decision I've made? And it's constantly that. And I love that for the past two years, I've constantly looked back. I've constantly looked back at how the year started. And I thank myself that I made those investing decisions, maybe in this program for my coaching certification, for launching my business, for hiring my editor, for being so bold about my opinions online for challenging my clients because I know that it's helping me become the best coach possible for my clients and in turn they get to see that they too have been capable all along that they too are resourceful that they too can be empowered to stand on their own feet and that's what I love about what I do about being a coach like I remember I said to myself that you know Nakulod, if I die tomorrow, I die happy. <laughs> I die happy that I've done the things, the dreams that I've held off for so long, that I've pursued them head on, face on, that I've made the right decisions, that I didn't let money hold me back, that I actually used money as a tool to empower me to make better life decisions. May umiiyak sa labas ng kondo. I feel niya rin yung emotion ko, kaya umiyak din siya. <laughs> Going back, like, that's why how I coach my clients is really based on my own journey. And that ultimately was really about identifying and being clear on what my goals are, facing my fears and doubts head on, reframing those limiting beliefs that have been holding me back, that have been pushing my dreams aside, and ultimately give myself permission to take that logical leap for my dreams and it's knowing that i have this sustainable financial system that backs me up so that i can be realistic and at the same time optimistic that my dreams are possible that my dreams are within my reach like that's ultimately why i've really stepped into the role of being a money mindset and life coach like so happy to share it's officially like the business title in my business registration because before hindi na intindihan ng BIR kung anong ginagawa ko and truly a lot of people still don't understand what I do and as I've shared before like I'm willing to be misunderstood time and time again like give it to me I've experienced that so many times I'm willing to be misunderstood as long as the right people, my people, would feel that they are understood, that they are heard, that they are seen. And yeah, stepping into that role, I really had to go back to like why I had to embody that that kind of coach. And it's ultimately because looking back at my journey, the reason why I was able to pursue my dreams is because I had the clarity that it was what I really wanted. It was aligned to who I am and my own version of success. And second, it was because I had the right money management, the right systems that gave me that push that this is practical as well. Like I can be both passionate and practical about doing what I love. That I can be both responsible and relentless about pursuing my dreams. As usual, if you're also seeking that kind of help where you have clarity, confidence, and the right sustainable financial system to fund your own dreams just like I did, you can check the link in my bio to join and enroll inside my coaching program, Fund Your Freedom. I have really shared there that this is a one-of-a-kind program that I created because it's based from my own story, my own journey, where you get life coaching and financial coaching you know it's not enough that okay i know what my dreams are great but like how can i make it possible how can it be realistic money wise because truly i got to where i am today because i used money as a tool to give me the confidence that i can quit my job and sustain myself because i have emergency fund i can pay for that coaching program for me to hold my skills as a coach because i have my freedom fund that gave me the permission to go all in 
in doing my business full time and making it more sustainable you know so as i've shared i've been like fully booked two to three months in advance i have already may filling up i have one more slot left and then two more for june and then next no for july so if you want to make sure that we work together in fast tracking the dreams that you have always wanted so that you can stop delaying them then make sure that you fill up the form below to join my program and i would love 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 to be that coach where you feel guided supported validated that you can take the leap for your dreams in a way that is practical in a way that is achievable in a way that is really aligned and rooted in your purpose or if you have any questions about if my program is the right fit for you talaga if you want more clarity on that there's an option in my forum on my website where you can schedule a free assessment call for us to chat even more discuss about your financial goals your dreams so that we can really assess if my systems could work for you as your coach that is a risk-free call that we can hop on i would love to get to know you more and you can do that when you fill up the form below if you've made it this far i want to know comment below and say like if you know you know <laughs> like para meron tayong inside joke and i want to know who you are i want to like chat with you there in the comment section and if you love these kinds of videos i would love to do more of it i really had fun and if you want to learn more tips in my journey become an entrepreneur becoming a full-time content creator you can check this video for more tips and i will see you in my next one